Hello and welcome to my series about Chopin mazurkas. Today we focus on mazurka opus 7 number 3 in F minor. Uh, this mazurka is very special. It's, um, it is like a story. Um, and uh, Chopin here is, in, in my opinion, is inspired by Beethoven and by the way how Beethoven created music. As you know, Beethoven was uh, creating music through very short motifs which he connected, which he ch was changing and then he connects all the pieces with that, these motifs. And Chopin here is doing a very similar thing. It starts with the introduction. And what is the character of this introduction? mysterious very well they rather sad we have two voices here the first voice all the saying something the this all the time the same the, the second also the same um, for me, it seems like some very old person, or maybe two very old men sitting, very old, and they are they are sad. They are sad. They don't really have the power. And then starts the story. And we have somebody who is saying something. Now, how this melody is being constructed? How it's constructed? Now, this was the first time. Then the second time, the same melody from a different note. Now again the same melody from the same note that was before. And then the end, the same melody from another note. So three different notes. Maybe three different persons. Three different people singing. Then the answer of another person. Then the first person. The third, and again. So now here, I think the very important is to change the color of every phrase. Now I try to do it so that it's very clear. one way of doing this. Another way is, for example, uh, like this. left hand is very interesting. Left hand, the accompaniment is like this. We call it arpeggio. And you know what kind of instrument can play this? It's like a guitar, maybe. When you, you just play with your fingers. Can be also played by the double bass or by the cello uh, with your fingers, not with the bow. But anyway, it's just, but I think it's just one person with kind of guitar on the folk guitar, on the mandolin or whatever, 
and just playing the accompaniment for the singing. And what dance we have? We have here the Kujawiak, the very slow and sad waving Kujawiak. Yes, and then the new, some new thing coming is coming, and then now here we have another typical folk, Polish, not only Polish, it's also uh, very popular in Hungary, for example, uh, the way of playing that we are playing faster, 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 here in the same, the same uh, rhythm, the same motif, listen to this. coming to the climax when everybody is dancing here the, the dance is starting uh, and now dolce it is very important to make this kind of mazurka in your body the mazurka rhythm so the, so maybe this the sad sad girl now here starts to dance but it's not so brave yet because we had this uh, the two old men who are sitting very sad but but she is getting more and more excited and then suddenly now we have something another thing very uh, a very folk way of playing their folk scene we have two group of folk well singers maybe men a group of men and women the the woman starts and then the men are uh, is are answering This is like a dialogue. It's very, it's very common uh, on, when uh, when the folk uh, music, folk Polish music, the, the singers are singing. And again, everybody is dancing. Maybe this is the same man who was before um, very sad, and now all these people dancing, they 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 make him happier, and he starts to dance. He comes on the middle of the the stage and starts to dance. <laughs> about these motifs when we hear this man dancing how do we know that is the same person because that's how the mazurka started exactly the same notes This is the so that's why this is the same man. Sada 
Suddenly we are back in the sad beginning. that's that's uh, how it's it's going on and then uh, until the end so here Chopin for the first time in mazurkas is uh, thinking very deeply about the construction about how to connect the motifs so that uh, this is the unity and uh, and it's really really deep and very beautiful uh, it's like a story I definitely it's the the, the 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 most deep mazurka in this opus seven um so the the challenge for the pianist is to try to tell the story through this mazurka and also to find the characters for each motifs each persons which appears in um in this mazurka uh, so that's, in my opinion, the the main challenge. Uh, and of course, the the dance the dance rhythms, which are very refined here, especially in this stretto moments. That is very important. So. Yes, yeah, so that's that's what um, what the pianist should focus on, and the listener, so that listener can enjoy the the many different colors and many different persons that appear in this mazurka. Thank you very much, and enjoy another series of mazurkas.